we are going to start with our national champions. Uh, the University of Mount Union head coach, Vince Karras. Uh, Vince is a graduate of Mount Union, has now played and uh, won national championship as a player and as a head coach and as an assistant coach, probably as a water boy, a statistician, and everything else. Uh, Vince is in his fourth year uh, at Mount Union, uh, 13 years as an assistant, and of course learned from his legendary father, a 43-2 and two record. To talk about the Purple Raiders, head coach Vince Karras. Vince? Thank you. I was a little relieved this morning when Tim told me that uh, Mount Union got the draw to go first this year in that I would be able to relax a little bit after I got done. I know I do not look forward to public speaking, as I know some of you others uh, can relate to that. But uh, then I realized I got in the room and I have to follow up David Baker. Uh, so it was not a good draw at all. Um, you know, I, I think what, I, what, what, what struck me about listening to, to Mr. Baker speak here was um, you know, all of us as, as leaders, at, at some point in time, uh, we're, we, we're going to have to face adversity. And, uh, you know, I, I know that was a, a difficult time um, for a lot of people, especially those that, that work here at the Hall of Fame on Sunday night. Um, but I did notice that it was Mr. Baker that grabbed the microphone and explained what was going on. And, uh, you know, a, a great role model to us in a leadership position on how to handle adversity with, with grace and dignity, dignity um, you know, and, and really how to be a leader. Uh, the first thing that he did when he got up here is he talked about the, the mission of the Hall of Fame. You know, and I, I, that, that reminds me, uh, hopefully it reminds many of you, you know, what is our mission? Uh, I know that we have one at the University of Mount Union and, and we want to be a big part of it in, in the football program to, uh, to prepare young men for, for meaningful work. Uh, and, 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 you know, I take part, that part of my responsibility very seriously and, and something that, uh, um, you know, is always good to reflect upon, especially at this time of year when, when we're all preparing to start our seasons. Um, but thank you to the Hall of Fame, you know, for having us. Uh, you know, obviously just looking at the people that work here, they're, they're very tired. It's been, um, you know, very long days here for, for, for the last week or so. Um, but we appreciate being able to, to have our our day in, in this great venue and, and, uh, and in this place, and we appreciate their efforts to make that happen. Um, you know, of course, I, I appreciate uh, those at Mount Union that, that, that work hard to, to help us. Of course, Lenny Reich, his staff, Dean, Dean Marino, that's done so much for us, and uh, Jeff Supanik of the Alliance Review, who covers us uh, diligently week in, week out. Um, appreciate your efforts. You know, our team this year, we, we lost a great deal, um, to be honest with you. We lost some, some outstanding players, some guys that have, have contributed for, for three and, and many of them four years, um, and we'll have a lot to replace. Um, you know, the, the good thing is in football uh, is opportunity. And, and I think, you know, one thing that, that I like to say to our team is own your development. You know, own your development. We're, we're going to do everything we can as coaches to try and, and prepare you and develop you and give you a good plan for strength and conditioning and those things. But you need to own your development. And, and, and honestly, and I think many of us are in the same boat. We, we haven't seen our players for, you know, almost four months now. So, you know, we're, we're hoping that they did. They, they, took those, they, they, they took those summer programs and they took them home and they, and they owned them. Um, I, I was out at uh, uh, the Marlington Little Duke started football practice last night, and, and I have two boys that are playing football, and I went out to, to watch practice, and uh, uh, I saw a young guy. I don't even know what, what school he plays for, but he looked like a college football player, and he was out on the, the, the grass field, and he had his cleats on, and he was hitting the sled, and he was doing some sprints and doing some conditioning work, and, you know, boy, I, I, hope, I hope some of the guys on our team are doing that kind of work, uh, you know, throughout the summertime. But... Um, you know, offensively, we have a few more guys back than we do on defense. Um, we're, 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 our core, I guess, of our team, our, our biggest strength is our offensive line. Uh, you only have a chance to, to meet Mitch Doherty today. Mitch is our center. Um, he's, he started two years for us and, and done a, a great job uh, kind of cementing the, uh, the, the center of the offense. And, and, you know, I think we've realized that being in the shotgun now, as most everyone is the last few years, the importance of just the, the snap. 
and, and where it's located in, in relation to starting a football play. And, um, you know, Mitch is, was nearly perfect on that last year and um, that did a great job for us. But, but Mitch is a real core strength coming back along with our two offensive tackles, um, Brooks Jenkins and, and Matt Fitchett. And, uh, you know, we'll really rely on those guys as we, we settle into, you know, a new player at quarterback. You know, maybe quarterbacks uh, would certainly have a lot of competition at that position. Um, we have a little bit of experience back at running back, particularly B.J. Mitchell. B.J. is a guy that uh, has had quite a few carries over the past three years and, um, you know, a guy that we'll, we'll really lean on in our running game. Um, we have a couple receivers that, that have put up some, some statistics. Uh, Tim Kennedy is a slot receiver and a punt returner who's returning. Um, and, uh, and Jordan Hargrove is an outside receiver that, that, that is returning. Um, you know, other than that, we'll, we'll have a lot of competition on, on offense to, to see how things shake out. Um, we are strong in the, in the kicking game, at least in terms of having some returners. Our, our kicker, Jake Antel, was, was, was consistent last year and, and was a, a, an all-conference kicker. Uh, our kickoff specialist, Austin Downing, returns. Um, our punter was just a freshman last year, and, and uh, you know, we hope that, uh, uh, that he'll be improved. Um, but but he is, he's a young player, and he's returning in both of our snappers. Uh, ben Riemann and Mike Jackson are returning. So we, have some, we do at least have some returning players in the specialists. Uh, defensively, we lost nearly everyone. Um, the only players that we have that have started a game that are returning are an outside linebacker and Zach Deere, who, who split starts last year with another player, and a defensive lineman, an interior defensive lineman, Mike Vidal. Um, you know, but one thing that I notice is um, when, when a great player moves on, boy, the, the next guy up, he, he, he all of a sudden he looks a lot better. And I think it's probably because the guy ahead of him is no longer there. Uh, to, to, to overshadow him to some degree. So, you know, we, we believe in next man up and we believe in own your development. And, uh, you know, we're excited about the, the, the guys that, you know, that are returning. And um, hopefully we recruited some guys that, that can put some competition on them. And, uh, um, you know, it's a great conference that we play in. We have great respect for, for all of our opponents. And, um, you know, certainly look forward to competing on Saturdays. Thank you.